Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and welcome to another episode of the mini series for the Curse Workbench in FreeCAD. Today we're looking at Gordon surfaces and how to offset them. When you offset a Gordon surface, sometimes it will go into error. And I've been doing a lot of digging and a lot of investigation into this. And I finally found a way of actually resolving this. If you like this video, please hit a like and also subscribe to the channel. I also have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate to my contributions to the community. And that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0. In one of my long play videos that I only released a couple of days ago, I created a mouse using a golden surface and sweep across two rails. Now there's many ways of actually how to create that mouse. You can do it via a whole golden surface or we could use the part workbench and creating lofts, etc. But this is all to do with the curves workbench. But one thing that I couldn't do is take that golden surface and offset it. It came into error and we had to go in and create a clone. So if I hide some of this, let's hide the top, actually the mouse body, the mouse feature, and that wheel, and the fillet's gone as well, and the extrude. So you can see we've got this here. So these are actually individual parts in here. So we've got a clone of the golden surface the golden surface itself and then the outside I surfaced it all and I had to from that use the curse workbench and use the paratchet solid in there to create a solid out of those and that's all because the offset failed because I went into here and tried to create an offset from the original golden surface and when we offset this in the part workbench do an offset on that you can see straight away we haven't got anything coming up so let's get rid of that and that's going to go into error so if i hit ok we get a b rep offset api make offset not offset shape not done so i found out how to create an offset from there and it's all to do with the join curves and there's an extra little feature on the join curves which is on there, the one that I actually used to create that offset. I'm gonna go over to another project now where I've done the offset. So this is a single offset from there. And you can see the join curves are sitting here. So this made up the golden surface. So if I hide the golden surface and come in and look at the curves that I used. So we've got a number of curves there. We've even got a freehand B spline that I used in there. And we're missing one down here, which is the sketch. So we created it from a mixture of different curves. So we've got a sketch, we've got a mix curve, two mix curves, and these are basically what's counted as rails. And we have the profiles that go through here. So we've got this profile here, which is the join curve and the ending profile, which is a join curve as well. Now in our previous shape, jump over to the mouse nerves and have a look. I've got to find those now. Let's have a look. Here's our join curve. This one here. Now if I come down to the data and come down to the bottom, you can see we've got this shared approximation here. By default, that is false. And this is where the secret world or the technique lies. And it took me some digging to find out about this. If we compare that to the one that I've got here, and I click on this one, I've actually activated this, made that true. I've set the continuity of that to one and the max and min degrees are there as free. We can change these if, if we like, but setting this to active to true means that we can actually set the continuity of that join curve, which has an effect on our Gordon surface. So if I increase this continuity, it will actually recalculate that Gordon surface. And you can see our offset is still okay. Let's set that to C0. You can see it's been calculated and there's no problem. So you can see that actually has an effect on that surface and allows you to offset it. Whereas I come to this one and that's click on the golden surface and we try the offset on there. Come to tasks, offset that. Then that's gonna go into error 
But if we come in and cancel that and go to that join curve, which was on here, I believe. Let's hide that surface, it's confusing things. Let's get rid of that surface there. Get rid of those. And that join curve, you can see it's just sitting on there. And let's have a look at our Gordon surface. Open that up. We've got our join curve there. You can see it flickering in and out. Go down to the shared approximation there. Set that to true. You can see it's recalculating. Come in. Continuity at the moment is free. And we've got another join curve that ends in here. Let's activate this as well to true. And that's mirror what we got. So we've got C3, 5, and 3 for degrees max, degrees min in there. That's coming to the golden surface again and offset that. You can see we've got an offset straight away. It's as simple as that. Fill offset. And that offset has filled. So just by activating that join curve that we used to create that curve, I've now created an offset in there. And we don't have to worry about coming in and creating these surfaces around here. So if you didn't look at the previous video, what I did was I, let's get rid of that offset a second. Let's just delete that a second, get, what, get rid of that. What I did was I created a clone of this golden surface by using the clone tool over in the draft workbench. And what we did is we took that golden surface, we cloned it with the sheep icon there, creates a clone. I then used that clone, came into the clone and scaled it by 0.95 there on all the axes. So the X, the Y and the Z there. And we cloned that and scaled it and then moved it slightly down to make this offset in here. We actually went to the golden surface with right click and transformed. And you can see that when you transform this, it changes position. So I moved, it was somewhere up here. So I moved it so it was in the middle. Once I did that, I then created a number of lines connecting up these points. And these are the parametric lines available in the curves workbench. So I selected the vertexes here of both these points holding that control selecting that vertex and then coming up to the parametric line that created a line connecting those vertices between the outer and inner skins like so i then come into the surface workbench so you can see what i had to do the actual workaround i had to do for this when it was quite a simple process of actually doing it it's easy when you know how so i come into the surface workbench and well, create a surface in here and went in, add an edge, add the edge here, this one here, this one here, and the other one, which I haven't got visible at the moment. Where's the other ones? Oh, I can't see those because I haven't made them visible. Oh, there it is, there. So we created that surface there, did that for all of them, and then we had to come back over to the Curves Workbench and with all those surfaces selected, Okay, that curves workbench, and then with all those surfaces selected, we selected them all, including the golden surfaces, the two golden surfaces here, and then I came in and used the parametric solid to create that final solid. That's a long way around. Well, it's taken me a while to explain what I originally did, and the actual whole thing of just coming in and offsetting that because I changed the join curve on there and added the additional surface in, which is coming to this offset here, join curves, this one here, the shared approximation, set that to true and just, well, I took the defaults and that actually took, just changing that we can play with continuity to our heart's consent to get the correct surfacing in there. And we can create a surface quite easy with the offset. So jump back to the original project. I'm in the part workbench. And I just want to show you a tool in there. And this tool, if you come out to part, you've got something called check geometry. It's grayed out at the moment. But if I click on my golden surface here, 
and just make it visible. This is the clone, so I want the original, this one here. And you can see it's just poking through there. If I come up to part and check geometry, it'll come up a number of options on the left here. If I run the check, you can see it has a number of errors in it and the type where the error comes out, if it was a face, edge, etc. So you can use this to find out the problem at the edges. And if we just hide some of this geometry so I can see the original Gordon surface, which I've just managed to make invisible. And there it is, that one there. And we have a look at this. Let's go back to here. We click on these, you can see the edges being highlighted and what problems are being created. So we can see that edge two and edge four, which are both join curves, have got the problem in that. So just changing those, coming in and coming into the corner surface and taking both those join curves. So I've highlighted both of them and then come down to the shape approximation and set this to true. And then when we come back into this and run the same check, but check geometry, run check, we can see no errors have come up. And we can go in after we've closed out, close that, go in and do our offset. And you can see straight away the offset is taken. And we'll go for fill offset and set this to whatever millimeter we want. And hit OK. So you can see straight away how easy that is to resolve with that little utility and also changing those join curves. So I hope that's helped. I'll be doing some more modeling and some more tutorials regarding the curves workbench and other workbenches throughout the week. And also I'm looking at coming back to doing the Python series, looking at animation in there and the Python language itself. So those are all coming up in the future. So I hope you're enjoying the series and I'll see you again soon. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my site. And also I have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is. And that's at ko-fi.com slash M-A-N-G zero. And there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from, any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.